What's up everybody, Dazed here, back with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video, and today we are taking a look at the new GT Vegeta from DLC 14. I know a lot of people have already made these videos, but I wanted to give you guys my opinion on it, and right off the bat I'm going to tell you, this is one of, this is probably my favorite character out of all three of the new ones. He's very fun to use, he's got a lot of good little cancel combos, looping combos, whatever you want to call them, and his moves are super powerful. As you can see, we do have Super Vegeta 2 on this character, which is, you know, it's always good to have an Awoken skill. But let's check out that Super Gallic gun. We're going to full charge it, and we're going to see what the damage is. And as you can see, we're just under two full bars of health on that fully charged Super Gallic gun. Now, it does take a long time, but if you break somebody, you know, you're definitely going to get this off. And it doesn't cost a lot of key. That's the good thing about it. You know, we, we can... KO pretty much anybody with that by the time we break them that's gonna get that's gonna get rid of them now let's check out the final shine attack and that time I didn't hold it down I just wanted to let you guys see a little over three bars and we took a bar of health now we're gonna full charge it and man we're gonna kill this Goku you know 25 almost 2500 damage fully charged up so these moves are super powerful when it comes to this GT Vegeta. Now it's time to check out some of the super attacks. And uh, I really like this Wild Buster. This is very effective on this character because he's got a lot of like knockback attacks. And it'll chase him down and it will hit him off of those knockaways. So it's, it's very, very fun to use. Now let's check out his other moves. They are counters. All right. First up, we've got Counter Impact. And this one... Um, I think it's I think it's probably one of the better moves that's come out of this DLC. As you can see right there, if we just press it and and don't do anything else, we'll appear behind him and we can instantly attack with a combo. To me, that is very very awesome. We can just go straight into those combos. You could probably hit off another super attack from it. Unfortunately, he doesn't have anything but the Wild Buster as an actual attack. But this gives a lot of it's, it's going to be really, really good for the created characters when that comes out. I can't wait to showcase it on created characters because it's very, very good. And like I said, if you just do it, you can just kind of dodge with it, which is very effective. It's almost like an after image, but a little bit better. Um, like I said, you can just go in and straight attack. It took me a second. I forgot you had to, you got to hold down the button, keep holding it for him to do the blast attack with it. You're going to see that here in just a second, but... Like I said, this to me is one of the best moves that's come out of it. The Ultra Instinct moves, in my opinion, not some of the best. But this uh, this counter impact, I really like this. You know, we need some more good counter moves. I will say, though, the thing that disappoints me the most is we don't have any Key Blast attacks. I, I would really like it if this Vegeta... Maybe we'll get partner customization in the future. And we'll be able to do those. Uh, like add something like a Gallic gun or something like that some kind of key blast attack would be a lot better on this because we do have two counters on here and you know while it's good to have a counter I don't I don't think two of them is necessary right there you see me doing the blast like I said you just hold down the button keep it held and you will do that blast it doesn't do a ton of damage but you know it, it does better damage than a lot of a lot of different moves so next up, we're going to have to test out the other counter attack. And if you don't know already, the shield barrier is, in my opinion, it's very effective. And it's, you know, you can just keep loading it back up and it's going to nullify all of these attacks. I was being real slow on it here. I forgot. I, I was treating it more like a counter and not like this shield that you pop out. But uh, definitely very effective. As you're going to see here, the... Uh, the Kamehameha doesn't affect it at all. It does not affect it. You can just keep attacking, and that barrier stays up. I don't know how long I didn't time it or anything, but as you can see right there, you can just keep recharging it. You can keep it going pretty much forever throughout a match if you really, really wanted to. It's going to be very effective on them, like, uh, key stunners and stuff like that in PvP. Definitely something you're going to want to get if you're into that aspect of the game. Now we got to talk about what I think is really the best part of this character, and that's going to be his combos. His combos are very effective. 
I already messed around with them a little bit before I went into this, but you can key blast cancel some of them. Like there's just a lot of ways, like I said earlier, to keep these combos looping, infinite combos, cancel combos, whatever you want to call them. This one right here I really like because you can get into that real easy. And uh, yeah, that makes this character really fun to use. I was a little disappointed by the Ultra Instinct Sign Goku because you couldn't really do much in the way of cancel combos with him. His uh, his moves weren't that powerful. I did like that counter that he had, but compared to this Vegeta, Ultra Instinct Sign Goku is kind of garbage, you know, especially considering we've already got that mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, so definitely, you definitely want to check out this Vegeta. As you can see, I'm just messing around with the combos here. I've got a few minutes playing on this character, and it's really fun to use. His attacks are, are really good right there. You're going to be able to follow up that one that you just saw. Um, fly straight at him, and you can just continue attacking right here. I tried step vanishing. It did not work. It, it goes underneath of him. Um, so that's a little disappointing. I always like to have a step vanish cancel or some kind of like easy step cancel. Uh, unfortunately, so far I haven't found it with this Vegeta, but there's definitely a lot of potential. A lot of potential with this character. Let me know what you guys think down below as far as the three characters that came out, because so far... GT Vegeta is definitely my favorite. I like how they string in those uh, those little key blast attacks into the combos. It makes it look a lot better. The Goku's got some of that too. I can't remember, but I think Dispo has some. But uh, this one, man. I mean, look, you just keep these combos going over and over and over. We got the good counter attacks along with that Wild Buster, which is a really good move. It's very good to follow up with these kind of combos like you just saw there when they knock them away. It is very effective against it. Again, my only knock on this character is going to be that he doesn't have a Key Blast Super. That would that would make this character probably a little OP in my opinion if we just had some Key Blast on him, some kind of Key Blast. But let me know what you guys think down below. This is definitely my favorite character so far. I played with Dispo just a little bit. GT Vegeta, definitely my favorite out of them all, but let me know what you guys think down below, and if you do like the content I'm putting out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.